All right, good morning, uh, class. This is for CIS 146. This is for you guys who are taking this class online. I'm um, just going to give you an intro video here, kind of give you a kind of an orientation to how to operate um, this class, how to get the assignments done. Give you a, so we're just going to, I'm just going to review everything as if you're in class, like we're doing a uh, first day, um, you know, syllabus and schedule and all that stuff. So kind of just bear with me here. I'm going to share the screen with you and we'll get to work. All right, here we go. So the class that this is um, section three zero three nine two. All right. So when you first get into the um, class um, here in on, in uh, Blackboard, you're going to see this attendance verification uh, page. That is under Start here, AV activity. That is the page we're on right here. You need to complete these items on here in order for me to mark you as in attendance in this class. I need you to do this right away. Um, I have to mark you in attendance by um, Monday, or um, you will be dropped from the class. So that's typical um, situation that you need to do anytime you're in uh, in a class. Specifically when you're online, though, I have no way of verifying that you are that you do actually exist unless you complete these activities. All right. So um, first, you want to do is you want to use this join code here in with when at this Cirrus website right here. You want to go there and um, you want to log in and create an account. I would show you that process, but I can't do that process because I'm not a student. But that's what you would do. You would um, um, click this link and use that join code so that you are actually joined to the class. The class um, that you're joining, it looks something like once you sign up and you join, you're going to have a Icon, it looks like this one right here. It'll be night CS146 summer 22-30392. You'll have that as your class. <clears throat> as long as you um, use this join code. All right, beyond the join code, you're also going to need um, an access code. All right, you can, you'll be buying that from the bookstore. I'll review that with you. Um, you can show you, you can go to the bookstore and buy that. I'll show you the information on that when I show you the syllabus. But until you buy your code, you can use this 17-day um, access code here. You can use this code um, to get you um, buy until you're able to go purchase, go to the bookstore and purchase the code. All right, there's two different uh, materials you can buy. You can buy the code alone, right, and it comes with an ebook, or you can buy. Uh, the code that comes with a, a printed textbook. This code, the second code here, actually also comes with the ebook. So you can choose if you would like to have a physical copy of a book. The second option is for you. If not, just do the first one. All right. So considering all that, let me uh, bring this back over here. I'm going to. Uh, matter of fact, I just realized I think I wasn't sharing with you guys the code. So this is what the 17-day access code looks like. And the AV activity, this is what the join code looks like. So two different codes for two different reasons. You got a join code here, which is under the AV activity, access code here. This will get you 17 days worth of activity <clears throat> to bridge the gap between starting the class and buying the um, actual code that you need for long term. All right, switching gears to the syllabus here, let's take a look at it. All right, here's the syllabus. Uh, nothing uh, super special here. Uh, this um, in this class, um, this is how to contact me if you need me. In this class, we're going to be learning these things here. We'll be learning Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. Right? Essentially, all of this up here says the same thing. Um, we're going to be doing um, each one of these um, sections is going to have three sections within them. So all four of these have three different sections. You basically have a beginner, intermediate, intermediate, and advanced section within each one of the products. 
All right, grade total. Um, we're going to look at this deeper in a minute when we look at the schedule, but I want you to um, take a look. 3,300 points required are available um, in order to, um, for this class. You need to get 2,310 points to get a C, 2,640 to get a B, 2,970 to get an A. Uh, many of you will be looking for the sweet, merciful relief of uh, 2,310 points by the end of the semester. Um, because you really don't want to be in a situation where you have to take this class again. So you need to get a C in this class to make sure you don't have to repeat it. <clears throat> All right, let's, um, this is the same information about the textbook. Um, classroom etiquette, well, we're not in class, so let's uh, read that just to be familiar. Tutorial services, I don't believe that the school provides a tutor for Microsoft Office, um, but um, you can always check. Um, Electronic mail and procedures, this is basically says that, um, you know, if you need something from me, you send it to me an email, I will respond to you within 24 hours. That's my standard that I'm supposed to hold to, unless it's the weekend and then it'll be longer. Um, I will likely respond to you quicker than, than the standard, but uh, the standard is listed right here. Techno support, uh, support for Blackboard, you got the information here you can use to get that if you need it. Tech support from Cirrus, that is the product that we use to do the labs and the assignments in this class. Information to contact them right here. I may direct you to contact Cirrus. For tech support, if you reach out to me, I'm, I'll take the information and make a decision whether it's something that I can help you with or whether I need them to help you with. Academic integrity pledge basically is you need to do your own work. Um, so that's you're um, agreeing to that pledge by accepting the syllabus. Um, Wallace State um, is um, sympathetic to um, those with special needs. Wallace State does not tolerate discrimination or harassment. If you have a complaint uh, about this class or a concern, you should bring that up with me directly. If I do not help you, please bring it up with the department chair. Mr. Terry Ayers, if um, he does not resolve it for you, then you are welcome to bring it to the Dean of Academic Affairs, Dr. Beth Bounds Johnson. Inclement weather doesn't really affect um, you guys being online. Technology, I would recommend you guys use a, um, a Windows computer. Um, Windows 10 or above would be perfect. Um, if you have anything other than a Windows computer, you can probably still do this, but uh, it's just going to be, be challenging for you. So if you need to reach out for questions on those, please do that. Um, policy for missed work or submitted um, latest assignments because you have a technology issue. Like you, you have uh, decided to do a uh, online class. So you need to get your technology issues worked out because you're doing this from somewhere other than here. So um, if you have an issue that prevents you from getting work done on time, um, you can always reach out to me. But uh, once we look at the schedule, you'll realize, why wow, that's really not going to happen. Um, you do need the Respondus Lockdown um, browser for this class because there's four different exams that you need to take on Blackboard. And I'll show you about those here in a bit. You got other procedures, campus police, COVID-19 statement, disclaimer, on a build an evacuation, which you're not on site, so none of that applies. So very good, you reviewed that. I would review it closer if you feel you need to. Um, class schedule, let's take a look at this. And we also need to, I need to give you a serious grade book explanation. <clears throat> All right, so there is, um, this is the uh, schedule for the class. All right, so you've got four sections, Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. And there's also a bonus section, which is at the very end of the Cirrus modules that you can do for bonus points. Um, it's about 160 bonus points available there. Um, so if you're wanting to ensure yourself a certain grade, there's 160 points you can go get just right there. Um, all right, the Word section is due on June 7th. The Excel section is due, is due on June 28th. Access on July 19th and PowerPoint on August the 2nd. And if you plan to do any of the bonus work, it also is due by August the 2nd. 
But I want you to notice here that you can get partial credit for any one of the sections. Say if you don't fully complete the word section by June 7th and you want to go back and, and do some of that to make sure you get all the points you need, you can do that all the way up to the end of the semester, August 2nd, ex with the um, expectation that you're going to get a 25-cent point deduction on those things done that are late. So if you need further explanation on that, reach out to me. All right, this is the grade scale again. Um, right here, there's a note to don't uh, look at and don't notice any letter grade that's in uh, Sears grade book because the, the letter grade can be misleading. What you can verify, use in um, Sears is the points. Let me take a look here and show you this. So on your um, grade screen, in Cirrus, you'll have this section right here where you can see the total number of points, right? Um, the total that you got right here is is accurate. Um, the points that I will add to Cirrus based on the Blackboard exams, I'll add that, you know, within a um, day or two after you've taken those exams. Those will be in there. So your grade or your total points, you're going to be looking at inside Cirrus and not in Blackboard. But just be careful not to depend on this letter grade here to mean anything because um, the way Sears grades the items, it only um, grades things <clears throat> that are that have been due already or that you've already completed. If you haven't worked on an assignment yet, it doesn't count it for you or against you. So therefore, um, it's just misleading to look at this letter grade. It, it's almost like I wish they didn't even have it, but it's there. So therefore, we explain it to you this way. All right, structure information. The main uh, important thing about this page is the contact info is here, plus my office hours. <clears throat> Should you need anything? <clears throat> Most of the time during the office hours, these areas in orange here, I am sitting in my office. So you are welcome to um, call me if you need something. And I'm also more likely to respond to emails quicker when I'm actually in my office. The other times in green here, I'm in class. So during those times, you can expect that my response would be um, slower. But you can always reference this if you need to. And if you need to stop by here for whatever reason, uh, you can always let me know ahead of time, which would be nice. But if you need to just swing by um, impromptu, um, just make sure it's during one of these times I'm actually here. This is also posted on my door. So um, if you come to my door and you're wondering where I'm at, this should help. COVID-19 uh, statement, um, you're not on campus, so it doesn't really apply, but just so you know, <clears throat> the school will follow any directives from the governor or the chancellor of the Alabama Community College system. All right, I'm going to record most of the class. Um, well, I'm going to record most of my other class that I have for, um, one for CIS 146, <clears throat> and I will take those recordings and I will post them for you. I'll likely put a, um, a link right here under course materials for those recordings. Um, this right here instruction shows you how to review the recordings that are underneath um, uh, Collaborate. <clears throat> Basically just go here, go into recordings and any recordings that I've done, which this is one that I'm doing right now, will show up right here. But I'll be sending you guys a link to this one separately because by the time you get to this point in the video, you will have already needed to watch the video. So. All right, let me switch gears to Cirrus real quick. All right, so this is Cirrus. This is what it looks like. Um, you want to make sure that on your screen, when you get into your the course, that all of these little check boxes are green. Notice my uh, browser check right here is orange, right? So it's not didn't get the best here because it really likes to use the Chrome browser. Cirrus really works best with a Chrome browser. Right here, I am using Firefox. Firefox browser, but I'm doing it for a couple of different reasons. I don't like using Chrome, but I'm not a student in class. And <clears throat> I want you guys to see this, um, checking it as not in compliance, right? All right, so you guys are this class, and we'll go in and take a look at how Sirius looks because you're going to be in this uh, system a lot. 
All right, so in here you've got the course ebook available to you, right? Uh, might as well go and show you what that looks like. This is the same book that you can buy the physical copy of if you like. This menu down here at the bottom, you can navigate and go different ways with it. All right, so we're starting out a couple of things you can see here. You can actually see the student data files here. If you wanted to work on any of these assignments that are inside this um, e-book, the data files for that that you would use can be found right here. You can click and download those here. But right now I'm going to show you, um, you know, if you wanted to uh, read the book in support of what you're doing inside the Sears assignments, you can go to the book here. And it's just like any textbook. It's got all the information here. You can read and understand what you're doing. And then it gets into skills and it gives you a project that you can do. Now, this is not the work that you're doing in Cirrus. This is work that's in addition to that. I'm not requiring you to do this, but if you need some extra support or you just wanted to feel like you're I'm learning more, you're welcome to do this, and you would do the, these assignments using the student data files. And likely, the videos that you will watch from the other class will be me working some of these for the students that are in class. So, <clears throat> so if you want to follow along, you can do it with your e-textbook and the student data files. All right, so independent of the um, e-book, you have other items here. You've got um, some of the same stuff that you find in Blackboard. You got the syllabus, the schedule. Um, you have uh, tech support contact and the COVID statement. But let's get down to, uh, I'm going to collapse that section there. We don't really need that right here. There is some uh, supplemental learning um, that's at, uh, ahead of Microsoft Word. I'm not going to, I'm not holding you, requiring you to do any of this. I would, for those of you who are, um, not uh, computer science students, I would uh, recommend that you review the um, lesson on security issues um, and, you know, maybe even uh, any others that you find interesting, but definitely the section on security issues. All right, so now we're into Word. So Word is broken into three sections, just like I showed you in the outline. All right. You have um, a section one that includes a watch and learn series. So these are all the videos that show you, or teach you how to use Word from a um, beginner level, right? Notice that each one of these, it's due on June 7th, is what it says here, and each one of these are worth zero points. That essentially means you don't get any credit or points for watching the videos, even though you may feel it's necessary. If I were you, I would jump in directly and start working on these guide and practice tutorials. These um, are where you get the points, right? So click in, in here, <clears throat> and you'll see the, this is my view, so it looks a little different than yours, so hold on a second. Oh, no, actually, it went straight in good. So, <clears throat> and then you'll click on the tutorial, and you'll work through the assignments. You'll be earning the points along the way. That's kind of how this works. Um, let me go back to... All right, so we've got uh, got in practice, and then under um, Word section one, you're also going to have end of section review and assessments. So all these are worth various points, and then you got the section two, watch and learn, zero points. Remember, and then you get into guide and practice. That's where the points are, and then you got section two, end of review section. So you kind of see the pattern here, right? It's going to do that all the way through, and then once you once we've complete Word by June the seventh, there's going to be a final assessment here, and then we're going to step into Excel, Section One, and start the process again with Excel. All right, so I did mention there are there are exams, final exams. Let me show you that. The exams you will do in Blackboard, right, and they are located. You see right here on the side. Under course materials, there is an exam section here at the bottom of that course materials. <clears throat> and there is an exam out there for 
Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. You know, may not be able to currently see the Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. I have those hidden from students right now, but the Word is, exam is already there available for you. Another thing I want you to be aware of is this, um, in order to prepare for these exams, you can do this Kahoot review right here. You click on this link right here and it'll take you to Kahoot and you can actually, it's kind of a quiz game where you can, um, by playing that quiz game, you're actually preparing yourself to take that final exam or that section exam for work. I will also have a link for Excel, Access, and PowerPoint as we get, as those sections come up for you to practice that on your own. Um, and I would highly encourage you doing that. The students who use the Kahoot review ahead of taking the exams always do 20, 30% better than the students that don't. So um, I believe that is a, as good an introduction as I can give you to the course. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please don't hesitate to email or call. Um, stop by if you need to, but um, thanks for watching, and I will um, look for your messages and calls. Thanks. Bye.